textures. Back in Maya, when I exported this out, I used the Lambert, okay, with the built-in on it. So this time I'm going to say, assign a new material, and I'm going to call it Blend. Blends are shiny, corresponding to Lambert's that are not shiny. You can think of Blends as steel and Lambert's as rubber. But what I'm going to call this Blend is... Um, something really stupid, like I can't even think. Um, stupid material. Yeah, there we go. Stupid material. Hit enter. Okay, there we go. Stupid material. <laughs> Why did I call it that? Well, you'll find out. Well, look at that. Unity, and I still have to set it to centimeters. Stupid thing. Nice. All right, so there we go. I exported that, and this time I should have a box six. Let's, let's destroy a few things here before I import box six. I know box two is now, um, I learned from that. I learned from box five. I'm now on to box six. And box six has a material to it, okay? So I'm going to click out the material. It should be a reference to uh, the player. And the reason why I did that is if I look at block six, I see several things. And this is called a prefab. Okay. So this is my prefab. A prefab is made of several different objects. If you hit combine in Maya, that's building a prefab. And the reason I know that is it's jargon terminology used within an engine okay so i'll get into more jargon terms here in a second let's go to polysurface and here it is box six stupid material okay why i did that is i now know where materials live and what is a material corresponding to a texture some game engines are like this usually let me open a new scratch pad. Usually some game engines, you know, you have this ball and on it lives textures. Okay, and this is a lame engine. Okay, a better engine. Okay, a better engine would be I have a ball and it's got something on it that makes up the ball. And that would be a material. Now, a material is, a, is, of course, like rubber, steel, plastic. Those are materials. Okay. And what makes up the material on the fact that it's got color and other things, that's where textures come in. And you can have several textures on a material. So this is a lame engine because it, it doesn't allow that. It just has texture. Here's a better engine. What's the best engine? Well, <laughs> best engine. Here's a ball. And if I divide it by half, I can have two materials. One on this side, one on this side. So two materials. And here's another material. I'm just quoting it down. So now I can have lots of textures on one object. This is the best scenario because if you think about it, an ob object as complex as a player character, um, the player character might have armor, which is a steel. It might have skin that is not steel. It's a different kind of material altogether. It's a one would be a Blinn, one would be a Lambert, and et cetera and so forth. That's best scenario. And that's why I like Unity, because it's got most properties of best here. And I'll say most, because I'll go into that, what most means a little bit later. All right, so now I know polysurface, and here is my material. All that thinking, that systematic thinking, just to come up with that. In the next video, I 
kind of poke around with scale on texture. 